welcome to Yates Makes. In this video we are doing some colour reduction lino printing. I'm going to give you some simple try at home techniques to keep your prints registered through all the layers of reduction. Doing this little print which took three layers. Okay, let's see how it's done or how I do it anyway. Okay, I've got all the kit I need to make this little jig to keep my lino in place um, to make registering layers really easy when you're doing colour reduction. So here's the lino, I've started to, to draw it out. Um, I've done a wash of acrylic over just so when I carve my first layer it's easier to see where I've carved. You know, I'm nearly 50, my eyes aren't what they were, so <laughs> every little helps. Um, so as you can see it's about A5, a bit smaller I'd say. So what else have I got? Well here is what I'm going to be using um, for my jig and it's uh, just a piece of mount board. Okay, it's about, I don't know, a mil and a half, two mil thick. It's important, it needs to be thinner than your lino. Okay, so um, next thing I'm going to need is the paper the size of the paper that I'm going to be using to print on. This is really important. So I'm using this um, Hosho Japanese um, paper, which comes in a pad um, from a fantastic company that I'll give a plug to um, called Hand Printed. They're down in the southwest of England. Um, now this is not quite A3. Um, I know that my lino is, is quite small, so it's going to look okay, you know, on on that size of paper. So I've ripped the sheet in half and I'm gonna be using that kind of half sheet which is just under A4 as my paper to print on. So uh, in the middle of, roughly in the middle of your piece of mount board, which needs a generous border, um, place your paper that you're intending to print on. Now you are going to want some reference marks so I'm just going to use first this corner which is where I'm going to stick my registration guide which you'll see in a minute. I'm also going to dot my corners all right you'll see why in a minute. Okay so dotted my corners drawn a little registration angle as well. I'm now going to do a cross from my dots so I know where my center point is. Okay, so let's just put. So I know that my lino wants to sit roughly, what I'm going to do is just take that off in the middle of this piece. All right, you can use those four lines to get it positioned. It doesn't need to be pinpoint accurate. Now, um, you want to be careful doing this. I would use the lino um, as your guide. We want this to be as exact as possible. What I'm going to do is drop a little hole in my mount board that is exactly the size of my lino. So I'm trying to keep that blade vertical as I cut. So I'm just running my blade along the edge and I should have enough marks there to now just go back. You know, sometimes you snag in the corner a little bit, oops. Making a bit of a mess of that. That should pop out just fine now. Got a little snag on that end. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so you can you can double check and make sure your lino sits in there. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna actually put a little arrow on the back as well, 
just to remind me which way it goes up because I'm sure I didn't cut that lino out entirely accurately either. So there you go, that's the first stage done. Now this little piece is going to be really useful. Next thing to do is find a definite right angle so I know this edge of my printing paper is a definite right angle and I'm just going to use that a bit fiddly because it's so thin this paper I'm going to use that as a guide like so get my ruler again and I'm going to cut that angle out I'm rushing through this a little for the sake of the video you know you really want to make sure you bang on the line here you do want this to be 90 degrees now that piece if you remember right back at the start we drew that line for the corner of the page we're going to stick with a glue stick along there I'm going to get a nice heavy book get rid of that scuzzy bit in the corner I'm just going to line that up as close as I can I'm going to get a good heavy book let that dry so then liner goes in just check got my arrow okay I usually just ink up with it in there to be honest and um, into the corner finger on the corner and then you can just lay it down um, it's a really homespun way of doing things but could be useful to you I find it's accurate enough okay let's get on with some printing well carving then some printing okay so here's my little color reduction lino design this is just to finish off a series I've been working on kind of the American West um, cowboys is su such a feature of my upbringing and and youth the music the films all the rest of it um so it's been been nice to sort of explore it visually as well um so on here all of this area is going to be white um the kind of thinner lines are going to be cream uh this sort of mid-tone is going to be like a turquoisey blue i think and then i'm going to go in with the black at the end so a few layers um, to do which is why I needed that little jig to help me keep everything registered so um, the first cut is really easy um, I've just got to kind of get rid of all all the white um, so all I've done is you know I've run a nice v-shaped blade along that line and um, I am now just working with a broader tool up to that line just pulling those pieces out I want to try and get a linear pattern running through my background very vertical because um, obviously those bits will pick up some ink okay nearly ready to print my first layer which is going to be this sort of cream color so I've removed all my background everything that I want to retain is white mixing up I'm using here should I say uh, some Caligo safe wash relief printing ink wonderful product you know it's i think it's vegetable oil based so it's really easy to clean with soap and warm water and on we go with my first print and using that registration guide burnishing with a wooden spoon lifting off and a nice clean print so i printed a, a you know a good run of about 20 and i'm back in to carve reduce my block down ready to print in turquoise which is going to be my second layer now as a carve definitely use if you're going to try this frottage which just means rubbing i've done mine in graphite here it just gives you that little bit of extra information about where else you might need to do some further carving so inking up in um, turquoise and again back in got my first layer there this was really easy to remember which way up because I've got a ripped edge I knew which corner was to go back into my registration guide um, you know just bear in mind you don't want to print upside down if you know what I mean um, so again burnishing and you'll see when I pull this one off I'll freeze it just how accurate that little 
a registration corner guide allows you to work. So let all of these layers dry, uh, went right through my run of about 20 like I said before, reduce my block back again and inking up in black for my final layer. I did make sure if you're going to try these Caligo safe washings, you know, you do want to make sure each one, each layer dries in between, usually overnight on a warm day or in a room that's nice and warm. And yeah, again, lining up finger to keep it in place. Put a bit of blank on the back, just put the roller down to make sure it's kind of adhered nicely before I go in with my wooden spoon for some really light touch burnishing here. You know, you don't want your paper to slip, you don't want to kind of crease your paper or anything. So just be patient, you know, settle into it nice and relaxed. And you should, as I peel off here, oh, flap it back down, a bit of extra burnishing along that top edge. I think my border I'd not been quite aggressive enough with. Peel it up and there you go. A really neatly registered three colour reduction and on you go. Hopefully you should find this is a really efficient way to work. Okay this has been loads of fun. Fantastic to do some colour reduction lino printing. Remember to subscribe, support the channel, comment and share. I'll see you soon for another video. Take it easy. Ta-da.